previously on Outer Wilds. Okay, well, um... Bath time! And now, back to... People are strange when you're a stranger Faces look ugly when you're alone I think... I'm not entirely sure about this. But I think that the title screen might be drifting a little bit. Hello, JDs and Lintman. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Outer Wilds. In the last episode, uh, we discovered another we discovered another way to we we discovered another exploit. <sighs> Let's just try that all that we did. In the last episode, we discovered another exploit in the uh, in the Strangers Minecraft server uh, that lets me uh, <laughs> uh, that lets me clip or not that lets it doesn't let me clip out of bounds. Uh, it lets me find invisible invisible roads. It's kind of nice. Secret location. I found a map in the abandoned temple. Reveals a secret location somewhere in the Stranger. Okay. No, um, I'm going to mark you on the hooch. Yeah, um, so if you put down the artifact, it'll actually show you... Like, and, like, it'll, like... I don't know why I'm having... Huh? Oh, well that was neat. Okay, apparent. Yeah, I forgot about the free look thing. Anyway, so when you put down the strain, or the bear, why am I having trouble with the English language right now? When you put down your artifact, it'll actually show you. You can walk out of the area where it like projects the simulation around you, and you can see all like the wireframe and mesh and all the like things and nice stuff. So it was somewhere on the other side of the river. The final secret room was somewhere on the other side of the river. Okay, fine, I guess I'll just, like, no, I'm gonna... Spite. It's out of spite, honestly. This is like the room where we first entered the stranger, right? I wonder if I can land it on the, uh, on the dam like that. Just... And touchdown. Great. So, I think the secret room is going to be in this area. Yeah, because that was the building. So is there like a secret tunnel through the mountain? I have to 
That's good. I am a crocodile. There we go. Okay, well that was not as... Okay. Didn't work. What if there's like something under here? I think it is that there's something under this. Maybe? <sighs> I don't know, I don't want to be wasting too much time here, so let's... I almost forgot about the ghost matter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set up the thing. Yeah, so we couldn't find, so I couldn't find the entry to the secret room in the local. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to go to the Stinger Tower, get the, uh, Get the the shortcut, and then I'm going to go to the hidden gorge and go from there, so that I have like the maximum amount of time. Are we ever like super thirsty, so you like drink an entire water bottle in a single? Like, like you just chug the entire bottle and then you just feel bloated. Has that ever happened to you guys? Okay, so it was not the vanilla fix mod. Okay, awesome.
Oh, that's that's not nice. Ouch, I say. In pain. It's interesting, that staircase is either burned or it's metal. And it is much too intact to be made of burn. I mean, <laughs> it's made of burned, you guys. Excellent. You know, burn. You know, like the, the, the material, burn. And the cool music starts playing. Huh. You know, I've never actually had a boat do something like that, where I'm actually, like, completely submerged. That's neat. I wonder what would happen if we were to spawn one of these boats on Giant's Deep. I wonder if there's a mod that lets you do that. An item spawner or something. Okay. I am now just hovering ominously. Okay, where are you? There you are. Huh. Dozing off. Oh yeah. Undozing. That green fire is so cool looking. I gotta say, I think this is the area that I have been to the most out of the three. Okay, so I am actually just going to, like, check something. Okay, so the bridge is to the side of the tree. It's also a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, so the dam just broke. Everyone in the lowlands is probably dead by this point. And that was the the flood rushing by. I wonder if this speeds up the, the loading screen that's here. Okay, so we're gonna skip through the the bell. Really, like it does look like a bell. I wonder why.
And now this area is completely dead. Which honestly, like that that's a shame. Excellent. I like the sounds that these lights make when you focus on them. And when you unfocus. If you were to turn off the stars, do you think this world would stop existing? I don't- I don't know, like... So, like, it feels like this world is very much, like, light makes things exist, right? If it's something that can be seen, then it's real. And again, there's a lot of stuff that can't be seen that you can still walk over. Okay, so I don't think we ever actually came down here. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Okay. Hey there, future back here. So I would just like to point something out about this scene. It should be pitch black right now when I have my lantern closed. However, I am still using the Night Vision mod, which really does take out some of the punch of this puzzle in particular, which I remember being absolutely terrifying the first time I saw it. Okay, so be very careful in here because there are a few just random holes. I've never seen that before, actually. But like, wow, that sure is pretty. I wonder if this was like the... Maybe this was the home of the person who, uh... Who discovered the eye. And they got, like, kicked out of the tribe or something for it. Okay, so in one of the slide reels, it says that there's a... That somebody's gonna wave at you from here, right? Hello. Okay, I couldn't actually see that, but you know. So that puzzle, that took me like half an hour to do the first time I ever did it. It took me a second loop to come back and figure it out. Okay. Well, if they didn't know we were here. Oh, they're coming down the ladder. Or not the ladder, the thing. Oh, they know I'm here and they're coming down to to protect whatever it is. Okay, sorry. Oh dang, there's a guy right there. Hey! Come here. See ya, nerd! Oh man, he coming. Oh boy, he coming. Okay, great. Ooh, that was close, honestly.
Okay, now how is it that I get down? Is that how I get down? I think this is how I get down. Oi! I don't know any of... Actually, no, I do know a few of their names. I love how their eyes glow. <laughs> now he can't see me. Okay, did they all just die? Please don't tell me that I'm about to reach the end of the loop now. <laughs> Come on! Oh dang, am I desecrating a grave right now? I might be desecrating a grave. Come on, just let me down, let me see the bug report. That's what I need from this area. bug report. Okay. So a bell activates the brain, wakes them up. A bell does nothing to no brain and doesn't affect them. So the dead boys can't be woken up. I mean, like, I guess unless their fire goes out. Dang it. Ah, we're gonna need to go back there. Okay. I don't think we need to waste time going to the higher area. Actually, looking back on this convenient si slideshow that the Gnome I have us watch through, I think we wasted a lot of time. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. Technically speaking, since we have all the bug reports, we can't actually just, like, finish the DLC. Um. However, I do want to see what else is in the Forbidden Archive down there. Why, you may ask? Yeah. Um, literally just so that I can show you guys the rest of the goings-on, because we missed, like, two of the story- two of the story thingies that were burned in the real world. You know. And one of those had the Eye of the Universe on it, which is, like, pretty important. Okay, so we're going straight... Here. Eh. Screw it, I'm just gonna run- run this way. Yep, ah. Uh. Sometimes the stranger remind, feels like I'm speedrunning a little bit, where I just like, okay, well, here's the optimal route to get here so that I can have as much time as possible there. I've spent so much time in the surface world, stranger, you know?
Okay. And now we park. Totally without having any collisions. Because I am a responsible boat driver. What's the name for, like, a boat driver? Like, what's... Like, a gondolier, I guess? I don't know. Hmm. Or is that only for a gondola? It looks like originally the strangers did use these gondola... These, like, gondolas. So we're just going to walk up this strange, featureless ramp. We This song really does sound like a weed whacker. And now there we go. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There is the man. Okay, pretty sure I'm out of his, like, aggro zone, I guess. I don't know, his vision. You know what's really interesting, actually? I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the three main races that we have in Outer Wilds, we have the Harthians with their four eyes, we have the Nomai with their three eyes, and the Strangers with their two. And it seems like, first off, I think the Strangers are older than the, uh, than the Nomai, even. I... Anyway, so the nope. So the Nomai have three eyes, and Solanum states when we met stated when we when we met her that she admired Arkind's four eyes. Now that we actually have time to explore this area, I want to poke around. I don't think that I'm supposed to be in here. <laughs> I think that this one is, like, actually just a grave. Or something like that. To the weird elk boys, we've... Are you having fun there, bud? I think he's having fun. Hi. Do they remind anyone else of Skulk in Minecraft? Run, run, run. Okay, keep it concealed so that the bell doesn't, you know, do the thing. And enter the archive. Heck yeah, dude! But I, I think that it's an interesting symbolism thing that we have the strangers who kind of feel like the most paranoid and aggressive and scared of the three. They have the least amount of eyes. Eyes are sight. Okay, anyway. 
So, one of the first slides we saw... So they saw a vision of the Eye of the Universe. Oh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> this is not the first, one of the first ones that we saw. The Eye of the Universe killed everything? And they turned spooky. Committed arson and burned down the church. What is that thing? They built that and... They contained the eye. And then they cloaked themselves over the sun. Huh. Okay. So the brain and the artifact connecting. So the fire creates a field where when once your brain activity slows, it connects you to this server. They have an old stranger who dies. So they enter the field. Oh, they have a weird outline there. They die. Their brain activity halts, but the flame lights and they enter the stranger. They enter the dream world. So, and let me guess, you are burned. Okay. We have everything, Jadies and Lindelman. So... Step one, get to the highest point we can. One time I died when I jumped in the rapids, because I was like, oh, it can't be that bad, and then it slammed me through the wall and cracked my skull, and I was like, ah, yep, it's that bad, okay. Okay, so I am going to go up this way. I know I didn't grab an artifact earlier, but there's one over here that I can grab. I think it might actually be saving me time, quite frankly. You know, I do, I do wonder what their text originally read, like what some of this stuff originally read. I can imagine what some of the signs are, like the one, like, there's a couple that I've joked about not being able to read. Those are probably do not enter, keep out, restricted, something like that. Man, it is dark here. Look at how dark this place is. I was fiddling with a setting, but maybe I accidentally turned it down too much. I'm, you know what, like, we're going to do this properly. Hup. Now, so you know how it showed someone dying? So if you die here, you still get up into the world.
now. Okay. We got one try here. If... Wow, it is dark. Yeah, this, this is what it normally looks like, you guys. Now do you understand why I've been playing with a night vision mod? Because otherwise you can't see anything, and I can't see anything. <sighs> Please do not trip. <sighs> Next up, so we have died and entered the simulation. Next up, we need to clip out of bounds. Man, I love abusing the the Minecraft. I, I love abusing the bugs in the Stranger's Minecraft server. <laughs> So we're gonna do this one, then the invisibility, or then the uh, projection radius, and then the death one. Candles, please. It's dark and spooky here. Okay. I wonder what that says. There we go. Okay. I like how there's like dotted lines that show you where all the where most of the paths of movement are. I do like that. That's neat. Okay. And this is simple. We can just And it's open. Jade is in Lintoman. It's open. Well, okay, it's unlocked. There we go. Is that just a hallway? It's pitch black, and now it's not. Stands. There's just a telescope to look directly at the moon. Then I can't even see anything. Oh? Oh. Okay! Well... There's 
an artifact there. Um. Are you coming? Hi. The prisoner. Who are you? Uh, th thank you. You can probably see in the dark a lot better than I can, quite frankly. His horn's broken. Huh. I wonder if we've seen him anywhere. The fourth part of the story is the prison. Prisoner is resting. Wakes up from his, uh, from his simulation. Steps out to the, uh, to the eye signal suppressor and deactivates it. That allows the eye signal to escape and, and broadcast once again. However, this was not taken lightly. The prisoner was locked inside of a submerged structure, placed into the simulation, and left to rot. The eye signal suppressor was reactivated, and the signal ended. A short little burst sent, was sent out, and nothing else. Well. Listen, man. There's a little bit more to that story. This is one of my favorite songs, by the way. So, thousands of years passed, and everything died. Not ghost matter, not not from the interloper, just naturally. But that wave, that single burst that he let out, spanned the galaxy and hit a Nomai vessel. They've received a signal, the eye of the universe, and in a almost in a frenzied panic, they warped. They ended up inside Dark Bramble, where the signal had bounced around, and immediately became trapped. They sent out three vessels. Each one landed on a different planet. And with each one, the Nomai came out and built housing structures. One day, the interloper arrived, and in a single burst of ghost matter, he killed all of them. Then... Then, I believe, Feldspar arrived. And found a piece of their ruins. Took it back to our home, to Timber Hearth, where the writing was analyzed and translated. And we, the Hatchling, went to space. Because of the actions that the prisoner took, we, our entire race was inspired. You've done something great, my guy. Do you, uh, do you want this back? <laughs> I don't know if he wants this back. Oh, he does want it back? Yeah, okay. Here you go. Yeah. I like how he bows to you. Do I? Oh, dang. Um... Okay, I guess... Maybe it's like, there has to be someone in here or something.
I think I'm okay with that. Oh, it's it's coming back down, okay. I think the one thing that I do regret is in order to get here, we have to die, which means in order to leave, we have to let the loop reset, meaning he can't really stay free forever, but I think letting him out like this, you know, I think that was a good thing. This must have been for him so that he could stare, so that he could look at the same sky that he once did when he was at home. I wonder if that burnt home that we visited earlier, the one with the really cool looking painting of the skull and flowers, I wonder if that was his, and when he was cast out they burnt his home down. Oh, I like that actually. I don't think that was here when I first did the, uh, the DLC. What's up, my guy? What's your last message? So he just stepped into the water and let his light extinguish. It. I guess it's kind of his death, isn't it? Let's go with him. Outer Wilds, Echoes of the Eye. Holy frick, man. I love the way that they did that DLC. That was so good. Now, um, so we're not going to be able to do it in this episode, but in the next episode, um, we're done. We're finished it. Hey there, Future back here. In the time that's taken place between this recording session that you're still watching and me actually editing the videos, I've realized that I goofed up. I missed several things throughout my adventure in the original game. Some of it was entirely vital, other stuff was joke endings. Really, it was joke endings. So, despite what present Beck just said, we're not actually going to finish the game in the next episode. In the next episode, we're basically going to be doing some cleanup duty, and then the episode after that, I believe episode 15, unless I am bad at counting, which I definitely am, we will be finishing the game. So, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know, like, subscribe, comment, send me an email, whatever it is people do, I don't know. If you want more content from me, you know, I've got a lot of other videos. I've got twitch.tv slash screwdriver streaming. I've got the Chaos Crew Discord server, you know? If you want to chat, I'm always down. But as always, I hope that you have had a lovely morning and evening, and I'll see you another time. Goodbye. Dang, this is the first time that Future Beck gets to do an outro, huh?